Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace your tub drain or spud. This thing just comes out uh, threaded like that. A lot of times with these tubs, the uh, spring loaded component here that I'm just taking out with a flathead screwdriver ends up going bad. In my case, <clears throat> this gasket actually uh, broke apart. So it's supposed to be one piece, but it broke, and then the gasket keeps seeding and the water won't um, drain. I wasn't positive what size spud I had, so I pulled this out, and then I put it in there temporarily while I was waiting for my uh, package to arrive in the mail. So now we're going to just pull out that spud. So to do that, I'm just putting a wrench in there get a little bit of leverage and we should be able to turn this loose these can be in there really tight mine's not that tight to begin with because like I said I took it out a few day, a few days ago so we'll take this out and we'll take a look at it so here's a look at my tub drain. As you can see, the metal is starting to rust, and uh, it was just about rusted through. And I also was having the problem with the gasket, so I just opted to replace the whole thing. But before I replaced it, I wanted to check the exact size of the thread so I'd know what to order. So I'll show you how I checked that. Here's a look at the unit I'm putting in. It's actually made by uh, Kingston Brass. It's solid brass and then chrome plated. It feels like a very heavy uh, unit. I'm replacing a Moan unit and um, that's the one that rusted out so I wanted to make sure I got a very good one. And it's a one and a half inch thread and that fits into I believe like the inner threads of a two inch PVC drain pipe. So, uh, as I said, I pulled my old one out and measured it, so I'll just show you how to measure it so you know what size you need for sure. So I just put a caliper across the old one like this, and I'm doing it with the new one because uh, this one's nice and clean, basically. And this is measuring 1.870, so it's 1.870 inches, and it is listed... Uh, there's the model number DTT201. I'll put a link at the end of the video if you want to get this one. Uh, if you measure yours up, that's going to be an inch and a half brass drain pipe, which is a pretty standard size. They either come inch and a half or inch and three eighths, and a lot of them have a coupler so they adapt from one and three eighths to one and a half if needed. All right, it looks like we're ready to put this thing in. So I put a little uh, Teflon paste on the thread, some plumber putty up top and it came with a gasket that I'm not using because the old gaskets actually already in there between the tub and the drain pipe and they look to be pretty good so we're just trying to start this in by hand I put the plumber's putty up top just to be careful that I didn't cross thread the threads here because I'm putting metal into plastic and that if you put it against the tub might be a little harder to thread it in and this is going in nice and easy so we're going to go through and snug this thing up and we should see our plumber's putty um, start to spot all right we have it all in there so we'll just run a little water looks good and then this thing screws down in here and these are adjustable so if it's not sealing off your tub properly you can adjust it so that's up and that'll let it drain and if we push it down it should hold the water Looks like it's holding well. The 
faucet's drink, uh, dripping a little bit, but it seems to be holding, so that's good. And if it's leaking, you guys can tune in for next week's video, how to repair a drywall ceiling. But uh, anyhow, I'm double wide six, and uh, I will put a link in the video on uh, how to get one of these. And as I said, mine's an inch and a half, and uh, it's solid brass. Looks like a nice piece. Hopefully, it'll hold up for a while. The stainless steel ones cost about sixty bucks. I looked into them, and you know what? This this the one I got. I think was around fifteen bucks or so. All right, so thanks for watching. If you liked it, please rate and uh, give it a thumbs up. That helps people see the video. We'll see you.